in this video we are going to start with calculus of variation first of all we'll start with uh, knowing what is calculus of variation for that we need to know what is a functional you probably must be knowing what is a function a function a function is a correspondence from a set a to a set b for example if i have this set 1 2 3 this is 1 4 9 and 1 is attached with 1 2 is attached with 4 3 is attached with 9 then there is a correspondence from this set a to this set b which i can write as f of x is equal to x square and this is a function so in case of function the domain this is called the domain and this is called the range so we can see that in case of function this domain is set of real numbers so it can can also be set of complex numbers depending upon uh, upon the situations right so a function uh, in case of a function we have the domain is the set of numbers and in case of functionals functionals are functions these are functions whose domain is a set of functions okay let us try to understand what that exactly means suppose you have this set you have a set here this is set of all rectifiable curves what is a rectifiable curve whose length can be measured okay you have this set of all rectifiable curves and here is set of real numbers positive basically real numbers so what you are doing is you are picking a curve from here and obviously because that is a rectifiable curve you can measure the length of that curve and to that curve you are associating that number that length of that curve is a number and you are associating that number to that curve that will be a function okay what is the function function is i'll denote it with capital f you have a function here capital f what is that you are picking a curve and you are associating it with length of that curve right this is a function from here to here and this is the domain which is again a set of functions you know curves will be functions these are basically functions for example if i have a circle i'll write down that y of x is equal to plus minus a square minus x square this is the equation of the circle right so basically i am saying uh, f of this circle this is my y of x what is the length that will be 2 pi a a is the radius of the circle therefore length will be 2 pi a so i am associating this curve which is a circle with a number which is 2 pi a so basically this is a function of functions and that is why that is a functional right so basically a functional is a function of functions a functional is a function of functions and we'll denote it with f of y of x okay for example we write a function as f of x here this is the domain element here this is the domain element this is my function and this is my functional now having defined this functional let us see what is the calculus of variation now first first of all let us see what is calculus calculus 
basically when we when we talk about this calculus we we this is a branch of mathematics which deals with derivatives and and integrals of functions okay it should actually call uh, it should actually be called as function calculus of functions because here we are studying the derivatives and integrals of functions right similarly we can have calculus of functionals here in calculus of functionals you will study the derivatives and integrals of functionals that will be your calculus of functionals this is calculus of functions this is this is a very much developed subject you probably have seen that you start studying this subject in your class 11 then 12 then graduation everywhere you study calculus of functions there are there are a uh, lot of uh, material lot of literature available for this calculus of functions but this subject is not very much developed this subject that is calculus of functionals is not much developed right but a part of this large subject which is the problem of finding maxima and minima of functionals this is a part of calculus of functionals you must be knowing that when you study the calculus of functions that is differentiation and integration you do study maxima and minima right similarly here in calculus of functionals we will study this problem of finding the maxima and minima of functional this subject is not developed but a part of this subject this is the problem of finding maxima and minima of functionals this is developed this is a de uh, a well known subject well developed subject i would say right this problem this problem of finding maxima and minima of functionals is called a variational problem and this subject because that is a variational problem this subject is called calculus of variation this is your calculus of variations variations so this is what the calculus of variation is so calculus of variation variations is a subject where we will study the problems of finding maxima and minima of functionals basically we'll try to solve these variational problems in calculus of variations